Um, so I've been on this minimalism journey for like about a year and a half now, and I'm a very much a all or nothing type of person. So when I do something, I do it very black and white. And before I did this, I was a big time collector. I had like 2,000 DVDs. I had 15 boxes of comic books, plus tubs of collected ones, plus action figures, still in the box, of course. Uh, you know, all these collections, and they're all like 90% of them are, are gone now. And for me, a lot of my struggle over the years of, of collecting, and, um, and I do call it collecting now, Horty. Uh, has been, has been this, this nostalgic feel for me and really identifying with my stuff. I was always a comic book dork or a movie buff or whatever it was and so I, I even struggle with the, the label of a minimalist now because I realize how much labels can help but can also, also hurt us. Um, but what I really wanted to say is I've had some conversations with people about the, um, the sentimental things. And my dad passed away when I was about four and a half, and so the, I have some stuff of, that was his. And my parents moved out of the house that I grew up in, so all that stuff came to me over the past year. And so I had to go through those tough boxes, finally. And one of the things that helped me the most was actually a book called um, The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up by Marie Kondo. I'm sure many of you have heard of it. Right. Right there. <laughs> and one of, the, one of the things she talks about in there is that we do a really good job of, and I, I especially do, of intellectualizing every, everything, right? We can make it very logical of why I need that thing or what is special about it so I need to keep it. But one of the things she said was to actually pick up the thing, hold it in your hand, smell it, touch it, feel it, rub it in your face, whatever you need to do, uh, and feel what that feels like inside, not in your head. Like, what does that feel like in your heart? And that was probably the most important thing that I found in getting rid of or letting go of, it's probably a better way of saying it, those sentimental things because there were things I picked up that I went, I got nothing, like I feel nothing towards this. In my head I know I, I should, but I don't. I had boxes of like baby blankets. I was like, mm, I don't know how to baby, I don't know. But, uh, and, and for my mom, she, that was important to her, but I was like, well, do you want these? And she goes, no, I don't want them. I thought you wanted them. And I was, and, but she's like, but I want to tell you the story of each of them. Yeah. And so we got together and she told me about all these things and then together we got rid of them, mm -hmm. right? But a lot of even the stuff of my dad, it was like, you know, I have pictures, I have certain memories, I have a few things that I kept that are special to me, but the rest of it, I didn't feel anything and I let it go. So hopefully that helps somebody with the, the sentimental stuff because I know that's, that's, that's the hardest stuff, at least it was for me.